I'm Alan Gibbs from DuraFrame Building Systems and we'll show you how easy it is to install our building system on your construction site. This video offers general installation advice. Refer to the Enduro Wall and Enduro Trust Design Manuals, Construction Guides and the BCA for full details. Enduro Frame structures are detailed using our latest CAD technology and utilising Australian made TrueCore steel. The result is a building system that's been designed for the builder. In the previous Enduro Frame building system video, we showed you how to assemble a kit of components for your own on site assembly. Now we're going to show you how to install the Enduro Truss roof system and the Enduro Wall wall framing system, which together make up the lightweight Enduro Frame building system. You and your crew will find it's easy to install on virtually any building site. You'll see that each part is marked with the job name, frame or truss number, making it simple for you to work out which part goes where. Our first consideration is worker safety. The HIA recommends a safe work method statement be written and that the work site conforms to the safe work practices in the BCA. And make sure you read our installation manuals before you start work. The EnduroCAD system outputs layout drawings to locate the wall frames and the trusses on site plus the documentation for authority approvals. OK, let's look at how to erect the Enduro wall framing system. Here's the tools you'll need. A hammer drill, screw gun with hex head bits, a handheld grinder, nail gun, cordless drivers, circular saw with a metal cutting blade, tin snips, spirit level, marker pens, string lines, clamps or vice grips, measuring tape, a hammer and a hacksaw. And we almost forgot, you'll also need a broom and a stepladder. Using the project architectural drawings, mark a chalk line on the inside of the wall positions on the concrete slab or platform floor. Where wall bottom plates are not pre-painted, an impermeable membrane, such as polyethylene, should be installed under the wall frame to isolate it from direct contact with the concrete foundation. The membrane should extend up the weather side of the flange of the bottom plate. Unpack and lay the wall frames close to their intended position according to the drawing. Starting from one corner of the building, stand two frames to the chalk lines to make a square corner. Screw the panels together using hex head screws at the top and bottom plates. Continue standing walls and attaching them together, working outward from the corner making sure you set the interior walls inside the building before completing the exterior walls. Run a string line between the two corners and align the wall to the string line. When all walls are standing, complete the frame to frame connections in accordance with the details in the construction manual. Move the frames to align with the marked wall position, check room sizes and ensure rooms are square. It helps that the branding is always on the outside which is the same way the arrows point on the drawing. For a concrete slab, drill out the holes, clean them and then insert the anchor bolts. Install the hold downs in the locations specified. For framed floor construction, self-drilling screw fasteners are used for fixing through the bottom plate into the floor joist or perimeter member. Hold downs are generally located at panel ends, brace points and jam studs nominally at 1200mm centres adjacent to the studs. After you have completed the installation, check that all hold downs are correctly located. Use a plumb bob or level and set the walls to vertical by increasing or decreasing the tension on the diagonal bracing. Ensure bracing straps are tight and screwed to each stud. Having completed the wall frames, proceed with the installation of the next storey floor or roof frame. Aligned service holes make cabling and plumbing easy and straight walls give a great finish to the plasterboard. Follow on trades will find working with Enduro wall wall frames a breeze. Install the hardy brace according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Now we'll look at roof frame installation. Stack the trusses in the order they will be required for installation. EnduroCAD software has produced drawings to help us install the roof frame. Your frame may come with factory installed truss hold down brackets. If these are not installed, 
Then using the truss layout drawing, mark the top of the wall to indicate the truss locations. Install the truss hold down brackets to the top plate of the wall at each truss location using the connection system specified in the construction manual. It is generally best practice to install girder trusses and the hip ends before proceeding with the installation of standard truss runs. Stand the first truss and screw through the face of the connection bracket into the bottom cord of the truss. Some of the heel screws may have to be removed to have the truss fit flush against the clip. The screws used to attach the clip to the truss replace the screws that you have removed. Make sure the truss is centred properly on the building by measuring the overhang on each end of the truss to see that they are in accordance with the drawings and they are standing vertical. Install the next two trusses and screw a piece of top span batten into the top cords of the trusses to temporarily brace them. Extend the top span batten out to catch and brace the next trusses. When all trusses are erected in their nominated locations, assemble the hip rafters as shown on the detail sheets, fixing through the top cord of the trusses into the hip rafter. Mark the overhang length on the jack rafters using the truss overhang as a guide. Position the rafter with the branding located at the outside face of the wall and square to the wall. Fix the jack rafters to the top plate and truncated truss top cords in accordance with the connection drawings. Install the bracket between the hip rafter and the jack rafter and install bracing over the top cord of the trusses. Refer to the construction guide for the connection drawings and screw specifications. Once all the trusses and rafters are erected, install the roof bracing in accordance with your connection manuals. Bracing is generally placed as close as possible to 45 degrees to the side wall, but not below 30 degrees. One end of the bracing is fixed to the wall top plate, adjacent to the truss position, and the other end to the apex of the A truss. The bracing is then fixed to the top cord of each intermediate truss. In the hip zone, no additional top cord bracing is required. Install the appropriate top span battens in accordance with the cladding requirements. The ceiling battens must be fitted immediately after the roof trusses have been installed. By fixing the ceiling battens at this stage, the roof trusses will be laterally restrained without the need of bottom cord ties. We hope this video has shown you how simple and easy it is to install the Enduro Frame building system. The smart, simple solution to house framing. Simple, easy to follow assembly and installation drawings tie the whole system together, making the Enduro Frame building system quick and easy to use. And TrueCore Steel ensures consistent straightness and quality. And finally, we think you can now see how you can profit from putting the Enduro Frame building system to work for you.